Welcome back to Broncos franchise. Last week we took a massive deuce on the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, this week we are looking to replicate that against the Atlanta Falcons, who are four and six, the same as us. Uh, we do have mock draft two here. Uh, we also have a running back breakout. Uh, let's take a look at the mock draft here. Dennis Hayden looking to go number one overall. Running back out of Ole Miss to New England. Uh, the Giants looking to take QB Jay Blackman at number two out of Clemson. Uh, Greg Kirkpatrick looking to go three to New Orleans. They have us taking Terrell Sutton at four. Which we do need a left tackle. So, And then wide receiver at five. Tony Hoskins, Brian Davis, right end, looking to go to Chicago at six. John Terry, right end to the Steelers at seven. Greg Morse, wide receiver at eight. John Rogers, right outside linebacker at nine. And yeah, looking to. We still don't know a lot about any of these guys, but I can tell you right now, depending upon who this breakout's for will kind of determine the route that we go in the draft. Because if it's... I don't know. If it's for Javante, probably keep him. If it's for Jaleel McLaughlin, and we get it, maybe we look to move Javante. Who knows? But we got a lot of season left, so we can... We can kind of wait on thinking about that until we reach the end of the season. Jaleel McLaughlin. He's coming off a nice week. However, our expectations for him moving forward. Well, let's do normal. 75 rushing yards and one touchdown. Okay. Cat and my dog are going at it right now. Uh, so I do have some... Let's take a look here. I do have a couple goals I would like to put in place for Javante and Cortland Sutton here. If they reach the goals, we'll probably keep them on the team. If they don't, they're probably getting booted. Um, so Javante Williams, I have him to rush for at least 500 yards or get 12 touchdowns by the end of the season. So that's only five touchdowns, but you got to remember you got like three or four. No, we got like it was two or three against the Chiefs. I forget, but yeah, and he's only needing what another 220 yards. Oh, excuse me. So we'll see what happens there. Sutton, I have him, um, I would like to get him to either 800 yards or 10 total touchdowns, so that is seven more touchdowns, um, but it, you know, it's also only 359 yards as well, so, yeah, those are the goals I have in place for those two, if they can get there, great, and we don't have to worry about trying to trade them, but, you know, it's that kind of the mentality that I got right now, that's kind of how I'm feeling about them. Kirk Cousins, um, to be honest, he can air it out. I don't care. Well, maybe not. They got Kyle Pitts. Drake London, I'm not too worried about, but Kyle Pitts and Bijan are my two, my two worries here. We'll stop that outside run with Bijan. And then, sure, we'll stick with the blitz counter. Then I will take care of these mini games quick and see you guys once we get into the game. Alright. Those drills kick my ass. Like 20 minutes later, dude. Should have a good game here today. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. 
And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. Oh, we almost got the fumble recovery. We did turn the fumbles down. So, depending upon how many show up today, I had to look to move that down again. 2,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions so far for Kirk. I did change Jordan Brooks' number to number 20 like he is in real life as well, so I'll see that instead of 53, I think he was. Damn. 8 for 163 and 2 touchdowns last week for Bijan. Hell of a game he had, apparently. Probably keeping on the ground with him all day today. I wouldn't blame him. That went to London. Wide open over the middle. Brandon Jones can't take him down. Sertan. Getting there. Making the stop. He is across midfield at the 44 now. In the middle again to Drake London. It's two catches for 40 yards. Looks like Draymond Jones was injured, but I didn't get a notification. Greedy Williams jumps in front of that one. Pass to Bijan. And it looks like he's going to take it to the house. Greedy Williams with the pick six. Thankfully, he wasn't watching Drake London there because that was a touchdown because he burnt my ass. Sure, we'll keep Draymond Jones out. We'll put Blackson in. Don't really know who that is, but we'll come in, sure. Alright. Probably a run to the left, Bijan. No, nope, you're going back right with him. Take him down after a gain of four. That pass to Kyle Pitts. Scary target. Definitely don't want him to catch the ball today. I can tell you that. Oh, and to Drake London again. It's literally the trio that I need to watch out for. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and B. John Robinson. <laughs> I'd like to avoid them like the plague. Baron Brownie can't get there, but 14 wasn't paying attention to hit him right in the head. Aaron Browning almost got the pass deflection. Into second and ten. John going out wide. Greedy Williams, if he's if he's a little quicker, could have had another possible pick six against Bijan. And Atlanta is gonna tie it up at seven. Bailey on the return. Gets up to the 30 as usual. Bo Nix coming out now. Of course, we need to get 75 yards and a touchdown with Julio McLaughlin. 2,400 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. Yeah, let's not talk about... Let's not talk about those numbers, huh? On top of his game, he'll try to duplicate that here in this one. Uh, first carry now for Jaleel McLaughlin. Jaleel taking that outside again and gain a five. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Next to the air. That one's going to leave Troy Franklin wide open. He's going to get the catch. Looking up the first, up to the 23. Gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. 
Off the play fake. Nix rolling to his right. Yeah, it was horrible pass decision by me. AJ Terrell with the pick. Oh, I knew as soon as I threw that. I don't know what I'm doing. Micah Hyde and Chris Abrams drain there. Getting the pass break up. Thankfully, didn't actually get that pass away because I dove with Micah Hyde and that was a free touchdown. <laughs> That's going to be a Chris Abrams drained sack. My team's going to come out. Nothing on the return. Monte up the middle, gain of one. defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Second and nine. And now they'll shift things around. I don't like any of those plays against this defense at least. And to McLaughlin, gain of two. Sometimes your blossoms get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Bad pass. Broken up by Caden Ellis. Fourth down, so on is the putter. Riley will punt it with Riley Dixon. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. So a change of possession. Thank you for no penalty there. Gonna get sacked. Jonathan Cooper. Getting a big sack there, second and 18. They are gonna run it with Bijan. Uh, making a gain of seven. Brings up third and 11 now. And London just overran us like crazy. Greedy Williams, Greedy Williams can't keep up with them. That's gonna be one of the prettiest touchdown passes I think I've ever seen Kirk Cousins throw. After that, I think we're at to uh, line the corners up by speed. Bailey, up to 37. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. On play action, here's Nix. Nice pass to Marvin Mims, picking up the first up to the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Run with Williams, gain of three seconds and seven. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. I need to stop skipping those. Yeah, make it like a more realistic experience, you know? come up second and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. Bolsich, just get down with it. Don't risk getting hit. We don't need an injury. Don't need all that junk. Javante losing two on that one. 
absolutely nowhere to go. So throw that one up to Franklin. Thankfully incomplete. Could have been a pick, but... But his kick is good. Sneaking in on the left side there. 14-10. Buddy Barnley in a big hit there. And we are going to line that up by speed. I, I don't know. I don't really want to do that, but I ain't trying to get cooked by Drake London again, who really isn't even that fast. But this way, I can avoid that. Just kidding. It's gonna happen regardless, apparently. It's Bijan catching that on the real on the wheel route. And that's gonna put him up by eleven. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a twenty one to ten. Alright. Now Pinion. See how they're playing this. We're getting nothing on that return. Nothing on the run. There's a flag, probably holding. Shocker. Mike McGlinchey? Oh, oh. How'd I know? I am just for this game we'll throw um McLaughlin in as the uh, main and third down back. And Javante will just be our power back. So that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Well behind the sticks here with a second and eighteen. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I should have lobbed it. We had it. Couldn't get it. I'll be a little quicker on that pass too, and we were good. Held it down too long too. So I threw more of like a line drive to him instead of anything in the air. I liked it better when they ran it. Keep doing that. Yeah. Keep running it. Pass it to Drake London and just break every freaking tackle. Yeah. That works too. We're going to go up by 18. They're just cooking us with three play drives, apparently. 
All right, we gotta do something here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I want to do first and second runs with McLaughlin and then on the ground, here's McLaughlin. pass on third. Probably going to get another three and out here. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had a Not what I want, but I want we need the yards with them. Because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play. Oh, I thought Ellis was going to run with him, sir. All right. It's kind of an arm punt, but yeah. Position here as they take over at their 45 yard line. Well, sometimes the fake punts work out. They're fun, and you're so smart for doing it. And sometimes, Charles, what happens? Dumb decision, but we're punting it anyway, so. And you're right about that because the kid. I wanted to catch him off guard and maybe had a ch maybe have a chance at something, but Drake London's injured. It's good for us. Keep him out of the game. And on their toes. Now Cousins. Man open. That's Ray Ray McLeod. It's Ray Ray McLeod. First catch. Good for eight and a first down. You, let's run, man. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Short throw caught by Pitts. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. Yeah. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes Kirk is going to throw for 800 yards today. That's what's going to happen. It's already at 347 From the shotgun, in the first half. That went to the ground. I think that was Ray Ray McLeod. Nice 14. Brandon Jones there can't break it up. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. From the gun, here's Cousins. Yeah. And that will be Kurt getting the double doink there. <laughs> What is going on? At uh, 34 is Ray Ray. Okay. Alright. Kirk Cousins set up to throw 800 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions this game. Sounds accurate to me. Bailey kind of running backwards there. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. So now Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time. This one up for Cortland Sutton, and he's got a step. I do kind of want to just go down, but we're going in, I guess. It's all right. Never mind. I wanted to go down and give the ball to McLaughlin. Get him his touchdown right away. But we'll take that. One play, 78 yards and seconds. Get off each other, man. Well, so that changes everything that you're 
Greedy Williams can't bring down Kyle Pitts. And he's just going to take it in. What is going on? I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, man. Kirk Cousins. Doing more than Patrick Mahomes ever could. Big hit on McLaughlin there. Thankfully, holding on to the ball. McLaughlin, I think I need a rushing touchdown. I mean, it did just say one touchdown, so I don't really know, but. We got the rushing touchdown. Change of possession. Yeah, I don't know. Jordan Brooks getting the sack. 24 to 42 is your halftime score. Crazy game so far. Don't really know what to what to think of it. Skip that. All right, we are gonna go with throw it deep. And we're gonna stop. Defend the medium pass. I think deep pass, defending the deep pass has been working really good for us, which is why you know, we were able to stop Mahomes last week, but I don't know. Laughlin with the big run up the middle. How many yards is he at? You're not going to tell me? Alright. Thanks, game. That's a Dulcich. Good for six. A fumble? What? Fall on it. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Damn, Cody Barnley and a big hit on Bijan there. Yeah, it looks like he's injured. Oh, okay. Somebody was in Bijan taking another big hit. Sutton laying a big hit. He's up third and seven. Heather Algier into the game now. Is that Hayden Hurst? Oh, Charlie Warner. Never mind. I hate him first. He was in a in Atlanta at one point, right? Why are you switch me to Pat? Switch me to fucking Micah High, dude. Dude, Kirk Cousins is throwing for seven touchdowns already. <laughs> what is going on? 
seven touchdown passes in one game. It was first done by Sid Luckman of the Bears in 1943, then by Adrian Burke of the Eagles in 54, and now that mark. What is going on? Thank you for diving on it, but what the hell? Nine for 45. We need 30 more yards. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game One wham. Gain of two. 28 more yards. After we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And McLaughlin has space. That's going to be his 30 yards he needs. And we're going to put... Uh, Williams back in now. Off the play fake. Here's Nix on the move to his left. Bims makes a hell of a grab. Picking up the first. Pass to Troy Franklin and complete. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines. Ethan's called a timeout. Why do they still have all three? What is going on? Am I tripping? Now they're in the hurry up. They'll go play action with Nix. Pass to Greg Dulcich, and he is going to have a touchdown. 31 to 49. Score two, just under three minutes left here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first. Brandon two. Jones there. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across. Can't get the pass field. break up. A well executed 22 yard gain. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. More the man in motion. 14 is Rondell Moore. Makes sense. And he's wide open. Whatever, dude. This game freaking sucks. Kirk Cousins just broke an NFL record with eight touchdowns in a single game. And the Falcons are able to extend their lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. And following the touchdown now, where are these scoreboards at the bottom? Showing Cincinnati's stat line, but Cincinnati's not down there. It's Washington and freaking Philadelphia. Broncos offense and Javante Williams head out for this next drive and they love to find different ways to get in the football we know that and you can see he comes into this week second in the NFL in receiving yards out of what field. and they're gonna get him behind the line yet again I as his hold any afternoon continues so now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards <laughs> this game is so bad man I, I don't know what to do. How do we just crap on Kansas City and then we can't do anything against the Falcons, dude? That makes sense. We were going for it. We got nothing to lose here. They're going. It's Nix. Eluding the pressure right. Troy Franklin getting space somehow. So 
It's kind of just throwing up a prayer there, but it worked out. Having Culp incomplete on the side there. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nick's gonna roll out. That's incomplete. Third and ten. That's a Dulcich good over the middle wide open. That'll bring us to the fourth quarter now. 56-31. Please don't fumble. Able to get it down to the two yard line. That'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Williams. Fonte up the middle with the touchdown. So partner was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units they took a lot of time off the clock there. Kind of sucks, but at this point, we're just stopping Kirk Cousins from getting 70. Yeah. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. To throw, Cousins completes a Moody on the slant. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. So that is a big one, folks. Can you believe it? <laughs> Why are you just now showing me that? Score a touchdown three possessions ago, man. To be honest, Kirk Cousins should be throwing eight touchdowns every freaking game with this team. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> you got Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and Bijan in your back. Like, if you ain't scoring at least three a game, I, I don't know what to tell you, but get a new job, brother. That's the Suns good. Up to the 41. Cat is trying to get up on my lap, sorry. Oh, just let me get the screen off, bro. Throw a streak with Olsic. Come on. Freaking block somebody, man. Bad pass to son, but he made it work. Oh, hurry up. From the shotgun, escaping the pressure right. Troy Franklin can't hold on on the sideline. Had the toes dragged. Look at his hands wrapped around the ball. He's gonna get sacked. Not what we wanted there. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Nice. Thanks, Jesse. Sit down. Four minutes left. Probably just going to run it, right? Yes. Keep 
keep running the ball. No, don't go in shotgun. Go in single back. Okay, unless you run it, then you can go shotgun. <laughs> yeah, we ain't we ain't coming back in this game, boys. Down what? 18. Three toddies in three minutes. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Watch back, thank you. Yeah, he was looking for the check up bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. All right, let's see here. Hoping for Troy Franklin over the middle here. Go back to the air here after the INT on the last Just kidding. Of course everybody's covered. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. To be honest, I feel like Atlanta's defense ain't even that good. Two minutes left to play in this but they're just game killing it. <laughs> I'm happy that we started Madden before they signed Justin Simmons because Justin Simmons and Jesse Bates in the same backfield. Or the same secondary. Kind of scary. Not a defense I would love to throw to every day. Or at all, ever. Come on, no pass interference. Controller's rumbling like it's getting bombed. Yeah, just hold on to the ball. Don't throw it at all. Oh, just kill the clock, man. Kill it. Two more runs. Just go down, Bijan. I get that you're tough, but just stop it. Get some help. GG's. Atlanta winning by 18 in Denver. Don't like that. Did not play good today. But Jaleel McLaughlin, it gets our death. So we do like that. I remember saying to someone after my second or third day there, like, this altitude thing, this is no big deal. And day four, it hit. And it hit hard. And it took me a while to get ready and get acclimated. So some teams, they like to come in early. Try and get you know, try and get on a schedule and feel good with it. Other teams say forget. Ridiculous, it, man. Take a look at the stats here. Kirk Cousins, 19 for 26, 563 yards, 8 touchdowns, 1 interception. Bo Nix, 14 for 29, 378 yards, 2 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Rushing Julie McLaughlin, 11 for 84 in a touchdown. Javante, 7 for 7 in a touchdown. Bo Nix, 1 for 5. Receiving Dulcich, 4 for 49 in a touchdown. Portland Sutton, 3 for 120 in a touchdown. Lots of yards from him today. Harvard Mims, 3 for 48. McLaughlin, 2 for 73. Franklin, 2 for 88. Javante, nothing. Defensively, one pick for Greedy Williams, one Force fumble for Greedy Williams and one touchdown for Greedy Williams. Great game. Great game. Man. That's a tough one to lose. Especially after what we did to Kansas City. <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little ridiculous to me, but here we are. I digress. John Franklin Myers getting an upgrade. So is Greedy Williams. We will put slot on him. Get slot overall up to a 70. Man coverage plus 3. Is what I like. 
running back breakout. We did get that with Jaleel, so he should be star now. And with that, I'm kind of okay with trade away Javante. In the offseason. Since he was our only star player, or only star running back. But now we have McLaughlin as well, so a linebacker breakout. Kind of hoping that's Baron Browning. So, yeah, we got that. I don't think we're going to re-sign anybody else here. Everybody else I'm kind of okay letting walk. That's going to do for this one, guys. We have the Raiders we are taking on next week. And, yeah, we're bottom of the AFC West. Kind of expected it. Could see where our picks are right now. And then, of course, after that game, week 13, we have our... Um, focus players so we'll get to know a little bit more about some of our draft prospects here uh, but we do have the fifth overall pick and the 12th overall pick right now three fours and a seven so i'm hoping with javante we can kind of trade up maybe get a second or a third rounder but we'll kind of see what what happens around that time all depends on free agency to how the running back class looks. Because right now I'm kind of looking at Dennis Hayden. And if he can end up being, you know, the guy that it looks like. Oh, yeah. We need to know more about him. But. Oh, he's got the A juke move. And Every time I've drafted, like in other franchises this year, that I've just been doing offline, every running back with a juke has been crazy. So that's kind of what I'm going off of there. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, I will kind of go through these and look at all the players. And, you know, once we get closer to the draft, like probably the last week or so, if we know a little bit more about the players, I'm going to go through unfavored everybody and go through and favor who I like and everything. But yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. I will see you next episode when we take on the Las Vegas Raiders. Till then, stay cool. Peace.